What's going on Warriors? We here, let's do this thing. Thanks for everyone for subscribing, liking, give me the thumbs up, supporting, commenting, sharing, everything like that. Give me the plus ones. Love you guys. The Warrior Nation going strong. Let's do this thing. Lionheart Mind Explosion is about to explode. Let's do it. Today my friend sent me an email about, he said some new content for Devil May Cry Special Edition had come out And I looked at some videos of some jabronis talking about Devil May Cry 4 Special Edition They didn't know what they were talking about They were referring Devil May Cry 4 Special Edition to Devil May Cry 5, DMC 5, whatever you want to call it Fraudulent Edition with Dante the Donkey Hunter Who looks like he's a drug addict, he works weekends as a stripper, whatever Then they're comparing that fraudulent version of Dante that Dante to Dante, the legendary Devil Hunter, which is annoying, the son of Sparda, the original. They were referring it, mix up with that game, they were talking about Ninja Gaiden, they were talking about God of War, and they were confusing scenes from God of War and Ninja Gaiden with Devil May Cry 4, the original version. And the scene that they were talking about wasn't even in Devil May Cry 4, it was from God of War or... The other games, like Ninja Gaiden. And I thought, like, what are these guys talking about? They didn't know the name of the moves. They didn't know anything. So I said, let me do a video where I talk about Devil May Cry for Special Edition and tell you what's up. Now, this Devil May Cry for Special Edition. Don't need me to tell you that. And um, Virgil's in it. He's um, dealing with the Order of the Sword because he heard the Order of the Sword worship Sparda as a god. So he went there to investigate. This is set before Devil May Cry 3. Which is funny, because in Devil May Cry 3, that's where he got Beowulf. He never got the Beowulf weapons before that. So how has he got Beowulf in this game? It's okay. We don't need to worry about that kind of stuff. Minor little things. He's got the Yamato Sword, Force Edge, and he's got Beowulf. And he's got Spiral Swords, which is his devil power. So we're going to talk about the moves individually. He's got Yamato. He's got Judgment Cut End, which is a super move where he powers up the sword. Then he just slashes all over the screen, which is basically his super from Ultima vs Capcom 3, which is called Dimension Slash. And then he lands, and then he sheaths the sword. And does massive damage. Like if there's multiple areas in the end area. They will die. But you can only do this move. In Devil May Cry 4 Special Edition. If he's got Devil Trigger activated. So it's technically a level 4 super. Which is like Ultima vs Capcom 3. Because Ultima vs Capcom 3. Virgil had a super called Dark Angel. And in Dark Angel. You activate his Devil Trigger. By using one super bar. And then you do a, his level 3 super, which can only be activated when he's got Devil Trigger. So it's really like that. He has Rapid Slash, where he slashes past you and does multiple hits damage. He unsheaths his sword just a little bit. Then he's got another attack, where it's called Judgment Cut. Judgment Cut, he leans back and unsheaths his sword for a split second. And the power that's released from the sword is like these orbs that come about and they just slash the screen, the enemy, in a set area. Be a wolf. He's got a move called Lunar Phase, which is a move where he spins around like a washing machine, does multiple kicks, does a lot of damage. He's got um, Fallen Star, which is basically um, um, a dive kick. It's basically his version of Dante's Killer Bee. And then he's got a move called Rising Dragon, which is like um, Alan Steiger's move from EX Plus Alpha, where he basically does a dragon punch. And um, Dante had that same move as well, where he goes, kiss this! Boom! Rising Dragon! And it does like, God's damage. Yeah, so that, he's, he's got that move. Um, he's got a new mode called Concentration, where he can activate certain special attacks. They can only be activated, and you activate these, they're three levels. 0, 1, 2, and I think 3. I think it's 0, 1, 2, 3, or 0, 1, 2, something like that. Anyway, yeah. So he's got like higher levels, and the way you build up the meter is by playing good. Dodging, attacking... Not getting hit, doing various attacks, switching your weapons between your Force Edge, Yamato and Beowulf. Um, and just mixing up those weapons, you know. And just doing the, the attacks and consistently mixing the move and making it look good. Like, good play and not getting hit. And then once you unleash certain moves within concentration, massive damage. And there's a certain moves that can be only accessed once you've got full meter of concentration. Virgil's also got a weapon called Force Edge. This is the original Sparda sword. You know, what he because Sparda gave two amulets to his sons, Dante and Virgil. Once you combine those swords with the Force Edge, it becomes 
spada sword. So, and this is why the, the, the force edge is very important to say this. The spada sword is the sword that has got stinger. He gets stinger from the force edge. And he got, um, I don't know if because they haven't shown it, but he should have round trip. Where he just goes like that and he throws the sword. But we haven't seen it, so I'm not too sure. And he might have drive. A move where he just um, leans back and then um, throws out aura from the sword. Because these are moves that are from Force Edge. But we haven't seen them in activated in any kind of videos that Capcom has showed off. And none of the jabronis or nincompoops that are shown in the game are going to even know about these moves or anything like that. Even though they've got debunked versions of them. So that's what um, Virgil has that I could see from the videos. Virgil looks good. He looks really small, but it's a powerful character. I don't think they care about balance with Virgil. They just want to make a godlike, overwhelmingly, visually fantastic looking character. And I think they've achieved that. Virgil's also got a weapon called Spiral Swords. Well, it's not really a weapon. It's more of an ability. He's got a move called Spiral Swords, where the swords whiz around him and he can do multiple damage. He's got a move called Heavy Rain Swords, where he can just make them appear above you and just rain upon you and just do massive damage. And he's got another weapon called attack called blistering swords where the swords just come at you and just start hitting you. So yeah, that's what I just wanted to talk about Virgil. Just tell you the little bits of Virgil that I saw that I could tell. And you know, just put a little bit of more information out there about what Virgil is, why he's there, what his moves are, what they look like, what you should be looking out for, and how godlike Virgil is. Because these people that are doing the videos don't know anything. So yeah, that's the video I wanted to put out there. Thank you for watching and love you guys. Okay, warriors. Till my next video, take care, stay tuned and be safe.